Indiana High School Boys Basketball. 401 different schools competing for one thing, the state title. Work ethic, leadership, and desire is what it takes to get downstate. Many believe that this tournament is still the best in the nation. Few have argued that fact. Yeah, Indiana basketball is still, I have to say, it's still got to be one of the best in the country, even with class. And uh, although I wasn't for class and didn't vote for it, I understand um, what it's brought to the other the schools that win it, and uh, it's been a neat experience for them. The tournament is divided into four classes, class A being the smallest and class 4A being the largest. The schools are grouped together based on the number of enrollment. As a player coming from Valparaiso High School, as a player, I thought it was always better to have just the one class system. Um, but now, uh, getting into coaching, especially at the 2A level, and finding out how hard it is to compete with 4A sectional like what we used to be at Valpo, uh, I think it's a lot more beneficial from a coaching standpoint, the fact that um, it gives kids an opportunity to compete for a sectional every year, whereas in the past, um, that might not have been the case because we always played in the Valpo section. So I think I, the perspective has changed now that I've gotten into coaching. That's six years being at a two-way school, uh, I think really opens your eyes uh, to all the aspects and all the um, great things that can come from somebody making a state title run. It really gives everyone a chance, uh, and with, with the Catholic schools and other schools, obviously it still might not be completely fair, um, but overall, it uh, gives the small schools to the big schools, uh, even if they can't win during their conference season or can't win um, other things, it gives them a chance, at least at sectionals. Um, I think it really, really uh, has made the tournament interesting uh, and uh, has given a lot of teams opportunities that might not have had them otherwise. When you get a chance to see four schools end up as a state champion, uh, those communities will never forget what happened for their, their kids. And for us and for me, I, I like to see class basketball. Uh, there's so many traditionalists out there in the state that they want to go back to one class. And uh, every year it's brought up. Well, I've always been a, a, a huge opponent of class basketball. Um, you know, and I always think back to when I lived in Montana. You know, I played basketball with guys from California, guys from uh, Texas, and really all over the country. And they'd always talk about, uh, you know, how far did you get in the Indiana State basketball tournament? They just thought it was amazing. You know, and they all play in their respective tournaments in their states, but when they talk about Indiana State basketball, they found it amazing that there are over 300 schools fighting for, for one state championship. It was the talk of the town. I mean, people really looked up to that tournament. It was really something special. And, uh, and I, I just think it cheapens the tournament a little bit. When you make something easier to do, um, it takes away some of the special, you know, how special it is. Many believe that class basketball actually hurt the state rather than help it. I was on the IHSA board when class basketball was voted on. There were 17 members on the board mm -hmm. and the vote was 12-5. I, at the time, and I obviously I represent the large school on the board, so most large schools were not in favor of class sports. Um, and what class sports did for large schools was really not a whole lot because the um, the difference between uh, the smallest large school and the largest large school is is huge. I mean, you can have a school in Indiana of 4,000, mm -hmm. and in 4A you go down into about 1,200 um, for that you know that particular class. If in fact they were trying to um, give more schools an opportunity to win a state championship, which I believe that's what the purpose was, mm -hmm. um, they didn't really accomplish that by the way they. Uh, did the class sports because they divided it equally. Had they uh, looked at the numbers and perhaps divided it differently, then yes, they would have accomplished, I think, what they wanted to was by giving someone a chance. Indiana High School basketball was so unique. The whole country talked about, you know, one class, one champion, and I, I, I am a traditionalist. I, I tried to put in a vote for uh, for uh, uh, you know, keeping it in one class, obviously, I, I wasn't going to do much. If Bobby Plump couldn't stop it, I guess nobody could. There are still those moments that, that 
that we had in single class basketball, whether it may not have been going to the state championship, maybe it was going to the championship game of a regional, or going to the championship game of a semi-state, uh, you, you still have those glorified moments that, uh, that I think are, are fewer and further between them. During the regular season, both players and coaches get used to the fact of only having two officials at every game. However, in the tournament, the Indiana High School Basketball Athletic Association mandates three officials be at every contest. Well, again, I mean, if you're going to have it in the sectionals, I think as far as coaches and players, I think they probably should do it more during the regular season so you can prepare yourself for what you're going to see in the tournament because ultimately that's what you play for. I'm not really a big fan of it, of having three officials because of the fact that you know, you get that third guy standing out there and it's almost like he needs to blow the whistle to feel like he's a part of what's going on. So I, uh, you know, I understand that two, two man crew are gonna miss, gonna miss some things, but also I think you're gonna have an opportunity to have the kids play uh, instead of having so many maybe foul calls that maybe aren't gonna be called if you have a two man crew. But since they do it in the sectional level, obviously I think they should, like they're doing, uh, is mandated that they have three men crew throughout the year because they know they're gonna see that in the sectional. So, I think you should probably have more three-man crews so it prepares you as a coach and the kids for the tournament. I also think um, that you can't just think of the schools in this concern, but with the officials. Because they were having to go into sectional time with three crews, three-person crews, not having worked, worked it very much. So I, I think that the more schools that went to the three-man crew helped the officials out, maybe more so than they helped out the schools. Um, the, the difficulty in beginning to have three officials was that we had had two officials contracted for several years uh, ahead of time, and then we had, to, we had to add a third. So what we did was we just called the two officials and told them to get a third. And that way they found someone that they felt comfortable with. Because officiating is a comfort zone. Um, you know, when you hire, anymore you hire crews in, in, um, in basketball, or two-man crews. and. Um, it's a comfort zone for them to know what their partner's doing. People don't understand that sometimes. Uh, but if you have ever hired uh, a couple guys that just come in, one, you know, one guy comes in and the other one comes in and they've never worked together, um, you can kind of tell that they're not in sync a lot of times. As far as mandating it in the tournament, you have to be very careful with that. And the reason why is by mandating it in every tournament game, you're spreading the talent pool as officials go um, very thin, uh, and, and guys who probably should not be officiating, uh, males and females for that matter, who should not be officiating in the sectional, now are getting these very important sectional games, and it's, it's, it's sort of a catch-22. Uh, if, if you have three good officials, it's great. If you don't, it could be real problematic. 